Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what the timeout command is used for and how to create it. This is a timeout command I've created in the configuration I use. I've enabled cumulative timeouts. This will cause overlapping timeout requests to be added together rather than overriding. For example, if a user was timed out for five minutes and then two minutes later was timed out again for an additional five minutes, they would instead be timed out for a total of 8 minutes, as the remaining time from the first timeout was added to the second. Instead, if cumulative timeouts were disabled, the second time the user was timed out, the remaining 3 minutes of the first timeout would be ignored and they would just be timed out for the requested 5 minutes. I have not disabled any type of users from being timed out, but have disabled specific users. For example, InstructBot, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements cannot be timed out. I have enabled Restore Moderator or VIP when timeout ends. This will restore the user to a VIP or moderator if they were a VIP or moderator when the timeout occurred. I've set up a number of different durations with different costs. For example, you can see that when a user cheers 100 bits or donates one pound, InstructBot will timeout the targeted user, whom is identified by being the first word in the message for one minute. This gives you a brief overview of how to set up a timeout command. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create the command in more detail. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to leave the name as timeout command and describe it as times out user in Twitch chat. The active application required dropdown controls that the command will be executed when the active application has input focus. You can choose required, unrequired, or default. Required will ensure the command is only executed when the active application has input focus. Unrequired will not check to see if the active application has input focus and instead just execute the command. Default will resolve to required or unrequired depending upon the command type. The timeout command doesn't require an active application, so it defaults to unrequired. As I want the standard behavior, I can leave this on default. Public controls if other users of InstructBot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. If you want users to be able to use points to time out other users, you need to give the command an identifier. As I'm going to use points, I'll assign it the timeout identifier. For example, if I had a 60 second duration with a points cost of 1000, a user would then be able to type exclamation timeout 60 target user to time out the targeted user for 60 seconds. The reason is added to the timeout request, allowing you to track if a timeout was done by InstructBot. As such, I'm going to set it to automated by InstructBot for user.username so that I know which timeouts are by InstructBot and which are by other moderators. Cumulative timeouts control if any remaining timeout time is added to a new timeout request for the targeted user. You can enable or disable cumulative timeouts by toggling the enabled button. As I want cumulative timeouts, I'm going to leave this on. The maximum duration controls how long a user can be timed out for. If you had a maximum duration of one hour and then two or more timeout requests for a user were processed, which would last longer than an hour, they would instead be timed out for an hour. As I don't mind longer timeouts, I'm going to set this to seven days. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. I want this command to be shown in my help commands, so I'm going to toggle use default. The sound effect settings control what, if any, play sound commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any sound effects, so I'm going to leave these on none. The user settings control what type of users can be timed out and if any specified users are excluded. The moderator VIP and viewer toggles control if these type of viewers can be timed out. For example, if I wanted to exclude VIPs from being timed out, I could untoggle this. As I don't mind who is timed out in my chat, I will leave these all toggled on. The restore moderator or VIP when timeout ends toggle controls if a user who is a moderator or VIP when timed out will have their moderator or VIP state restored by InstructBot when the timeout ends. If you untoggle this, then any moderator or VIP which is timed out will remain a viewer when the timeout period ends. As I don't want to manually have to restore their state, I'll leave this toggled on. A request to timeout an excluded user will be ignored by InstructBot. 
As such, I recommend adding any other bots you use as excluded users or they could be timed out in your chat. So I'm going to add InstructBot, Streamlabs, and Stream Elements. I would like my timeout command to always be active. As such, I'm going to toggle command is always active on. If instead I want the timeout command to be active when a specific profile was active, I would toggle on command is active when one or more of the selected profiles are active and then select the profile or profiles the command should be used within. There is no limit on the number of durations you can create. I'm going to create a single duration for 60 seconds. You can then repeat this for different time periods. To create a new duration, click the add button. To set the number of seconds the user is timed out for, assign the duration. In this case, I want one minute, so 60 seconds. I want this duration to be for more than just the triggering user, so I will leave this untoggled. If instead I wanted this duration to apply to the triggering user, I would toggle this on. The cost of this duration is going to be 100 bits, or one pound. I don't want this duration to be usable for points, so I'll leave this empty. The last thing to do is then save changes to the timeout command by pressing apply. This wraps up how to create the timeout command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.